right, is this thing on? Okay, we have lights. I'm in the Airbnb. I'm not going to do like a bullshit video of where people go, oh, this is amazing and everything else and it's all glossy. I'm just going to do a natural video of Cartagena. This is the Airbnb where I'm staying. Obviously, the bed is not made. There's crap everywhere. Coming through here, you've got the lovely Valentina. Yeah. This is the living room. Right, going through here. Yeah, cigarettes on the side. It's a shit tip, but look at that view. That view is quality. Not bad at all. Very good view indeed. We've got a few boats over there. They're going over to the island over there. That's Island Pretty or something. It's 20 minutes um, in the boat. Some of the sellers are saying it costs you 200 Colombian pesos to go over there, which is 40 quid, and they'll say they'll come and get you back from their return, which is a load of bull. They will just leave you there. That's what I've been told. So you're best off getting a single. But I've been told also that it's cheaper to actually get there by cab. So yeah, a lot of sellers around here. I'll show you when I go outside. The amount of sellers that approach me, I went out for an hour the other day and I had 37 people approach me in an hour, you know, trying to flog me something, which if you want peace and quiet, then I don't know if Cartagena is for you, but yeah, 37 people approach me in an hour, it's a bit insane. Um, Valentina, she went out the other day on her own, nobody approached her, as soon as she's with me, they see the white man and that's it, they're like money, 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 so just be aware of that. The hotel I paid about £250 for six days, I think that works out about 40, 45ish at night, not bad. This little bar here and get two pokers, I think. <laughs> nice pastry, yeah. Formula for you? Yeah. Yeah. And they almost black. Well, I'm still white. Still the whitest man here. Gotta get a fact of 50 on though, I tell you. It is very, very warm here, about 34 at the moment in October. That is hot as hell. Just grabbed a bit of shade because I've got to say, it's that hot, I can really, really feel it today. I've already got like a little bit of sunburn, but yeah, proper hot, so a bit of shade, get the beer down me, some light refreshment, chill out a little bit and work out what we're gonna do. In this video, I wanna talk about though, about getting scammed in Cartagena. I've already talked about a lot of people trying to sell you things. Um, just stepped out of my apartment just now and I've had about three or four people ask me to buy stuff. But it's not so much uh, the selling of things, that's that's okay, but it's the actual scamming uh, that I don't, don't like. I've had two situations where, well one, first off, went into a shop and actually paid for some goods. The guy gave me the ticket with the price on, but it wasn't itemised. And I thought, that's a little bit expensive. So I said to Valentina, I said, that seems a bit pricey to me. We went back in the shop and asked the guy to reprint the ticket and he acted dumb. And he said he can't do it. He can't print off the ticket, which is absolute BS. Um, he was adamant we want the ticket. He was looking through the bin. He was saying it's ripped up and things. But what happened, his supervisor came over and said, listen, run the things through again, uh, the, the, the items that we purchased. And basically, when he ran the items through again, it was like uh, five pound cheaper. So the guy, he took a, a card transaction off me, which I think is unbelievable. And he actually, you know, had his cut of that. I don't know how he, how he does that. You know, obviously it's registered with a card transaction, but I've never seen that before in my life. And like I say, if he does that a few times a day, then he's in for a good earner. But that I thought, you know, that's disgusting. I've never seen that kind of scam before in my life. So yeah, uh, what was the name of the shop? Can you remember? Karuja. Karuja. Karu. Is that the name of the shop? Karuja. Karuja Express or Karuja? Karuja Express. 
Yeah, Karuja Express. So if you go to that shop in Cartagena in the Boca Grande area, just be aware, get an itemized bill because they will they will rip you off. I no, say. and in every store you always have to ask for the bill because you need to look for which things you are paying. Right. And they share the quarterly price. Right, you've you've actually been charged before as well, haven't you? Uh, overcharged. Me, in your shops. and I'm yeah. from, from Colombia, yeah. and they charge me more, and I return to ask for, okay, what happened? Yeah, yeah. No, it's disgusting. So, ask for an itemized bill, otherwise they will put extra on top for their beer money. Absolutely disgusted about that. Never seen that before, but yeah, itemized bill all the way. Otherwise, you're going to get ripped off, scammed. Right. Let's get to the beach. Let's check it out. Let's see how many people stop me for something. I've had another two since I stopped the camera. What do we think about Cartagena? I'd say, for me, the beach is absolute quality. Could I live here? Probably not. I could if there was no sellers. Um, the selling is intense but it's not as intense as Morocco. Morocco was a different league. It was just like... Hollywood Beach. Uh, no, gracias, no, gracias. Yeah. The sellers, uh, they're not as intense as Morocco. Morocco, they follow you for miles. And you tell them no, no, no. No, I'm okay. No, gracias. Yeah, they're not as intense as Morocco. Morocco will follow you for miles. You tell them no, 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 and they'll just keep following you and following you. I will say one thing, the sellers here, they do leave you alone after a bit, but I'll say, earlier I said 37 times in an hour, I was approached for things. Yeah, I couldn't live here, but I do think the beach is quality. I'll say, if the sellers weren't here, I could probably live here. But with the sellers, <laughs> It doesn't make it very chill. Whoa. Here you go. Baja Grande Beach. Yeah, the beach is really nice. Water's very calm. Say so you got stretch of land all the way around so it's a little bit like a bay area kind of thing would you agree yeah it's like a bit of a bay so the water is quite calm so the beach is very nice but the cellars proper proper intense but not as bad as morocco morocco their premier league Now this bar we're coming to now, I don't know what the name of it is, but I do like this bar. I think that here is the best place, well, the another one, because we can stay here in peace. Yeah. When you come in this bar here, the sellers don't come in here, so you get a little bit of a respite. Yeah, the sellers do not come in this bar. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's on Laguita Beach. Beer price is about 12,000, which I think is about £2.50 for a beer, so that's not too bad. But yeah, do like this place. Very cool. Yeah, today is hot as balls. Here you go. Here's the name of the bar. Elm Welly. Yeah, do rate this bar. Get in here. Right, so I've just got an umbrella from the restaurants. What happens if you actually eat here, you can get a free umbrella. Now, I want to talk to you about what I said in the top about being scammed in Cartagena. What happened further on down the beach, we saw these guys, a lot of these guys walking up and down the beach and basically they'll say to you, um, you can drink with us and basically uh, you don't have to pay for the umbrella. So we saw some guy the other day, he said like, you know, drink with us, you know, not literally with us, but obviously have some drinks off us and you can have an umbrella for free, right? So we thought, okay, that sounds good because I think generally paying for an umbrella will cost you, I don't know, 10, 15 pounds um, to hire. 
So we thought, okay, that sounds a fair deal. So we ordered like a, a few drinks. Uh, I think it was about four, four drinks. Uh, Valentina had a pina colada, which was about ten pounds. That's like I don't know, fifty-five thousand Colombian pesos. And at the end, before we left, we said, okay, how much do you owe you? And then they charge us for the umbrella. Now this is the BS, right? Valentina asked the guys. She said to him three times, "Is the umbrella free if we drink?" And he goes, yes, right? Now, it comes to paying the bill, and basically he put like, uh, what was it, 15 pounds on top for the umbrella. And his friends come around and said, uh, no, you gotta pay for the umbrella. And we said, get the guy. He said, if you drink, it's free. So, got the guy, and he said he didn't say that. So, he was full of shit, basically. He said, I didn't say that. No, you have to pay the umbrella. And if you don't pay, basically you'll get the police. Now, okay, 15 pounds, it's not loads, you know, but it's the principle. I think in business, if you say a price to somebody, right, you know, I've got this, uh, you know, loaf of bread for a salad, it's this price. Uh, no, no gracias, no gracias. But, uh, yeah, it looks very good, but no. No gracias. No, 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 no. no, no. No, nothing's free in life, man. Wendy ask, Wendy ask, all the best. Yeah, nothing's free in life. You want to give me a free hat, nothing is free in life. But yeah, going back onto what I was saying, it's the principle. If I've got a loaf of bread and I say, okay, this is a pound, and I go to sell to somebody, there you go, loaf of bread, pound. And all of a sudden they get their wallet out and they go to give me a pound and say, no, it's five pound. You know, that's not how you do business. And to be honest, that was the first day I was here. So all these sellers up and down Cartagena Beach who are trying to sell you something, they'll give you a price and then you go to pay and then they want extra. You know, it's just, it's too much. It's not a way to do things. If you say a price, keep to the price. All the BS about, you know, basically, you know, you, this is free, that's free. Not thinking life is free. You know, also a lot of these people, they've got the bracelets, they try and put the bracelet on you. Oh, look how good that looks. Don't accept it. You know, just get the price, get the price straight off and then pay it. But these people promising you free things or whatever, don't trust it, especially in Cartagena. But yeah, Cartagena, it's a beautiful beach, beautiful place, lovely food, you know, nice people, but the, some of the sellers, they're hardcore, but like I said before, they're not as hardcore as Morocco. Morocco, them guys, they're Champions League. They'll follow you for miles and they'll hound you to death. But yeah, if you want a chilled holiday, I don't know if Cartagena is for you. It's really hot. Yeah? Yeah, but if you are there to the sea, it's... You'll chill out. The, yeah, the water is not too cold and not too warm. It's, it's yeah. fresh. So, yeah. For a milk bottle like me, that sounds perfect. I'm going to get in the sea in a minute. Come on, let's go in the sea then. Also, I want to say you've got sellers in the sea as well. You know, people, they're, they're selling uh, jet skis, uh, boat tours, let's say the pretty island over the back. There's no respite. The respite you get is in the bar over there or in church. Yeah, the magic price around here is 200 as well. It's 200 for a massage, 200 to get over to the Pretty Island, 200 for a jet ski, 200. That's the magic price. There you go, a lovely fruit salad. That costs 30,000 Colombian pesos, which equates to about six pounds. That's not bad. Fruit salad near a stunning beach. Lovely jubbly. I say also the pina colada here is top quality. Do love a pina colada, just like my hero Del Boy. I need a coconut. Very exotic. Uh huh. And it's really yeah. perfect. Del Boy approves. Enjoying yourself? Of course. <laughs> As always. I love it. Yeah. We've been out about an hour. 
and I've counted about 25 people trying to sell. So yeah, I say if you want chill, then you know. Yeah, if you want chill, then I don't know if this is a place, but I say other than that, the beach, stunning, everything else, quality, but yeah, the hassle, too much. Yeah, Valentina just said like she doesn't want to massage, now she's being massaged, so that's the example, you know, and then you feel guilty if you don't give them any money. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't got money on me today, I've got cards, so unless these guys take card, which I don't know, they, they probably do, I'd say it's just, yeah, it's being tense. So basically we had the massage women there trying to massage Valentina and then they started on my leg and I said no, no, no. Like I said, I've just got cards so I don't know how I'm going to pay but yeah, just started massaging. It's, yeah. it's intense. For example, I say no, 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 but yeah. she started to touch me and I say no. Yeah. And they say that it's free. It's yeah. like a demonstration. That's what I was saying earlier. Nothing is free in life. Um, and apparently, if you go to Playa Blanca, which is a nice beach near here as well, the sellers are supposed to be more intense as well. They're just like proper, you know, they'll start massaging yeah. you, say no. Uh, no gracias, no gracias. Buen dia, buen dia. Okay, yeah. Playa Blanca, which is near here, if you're thinking of coming to Cartagena, it's a nice beach, but apparently the people there are more intense. Yeah, so. the beach is really beautiful. Yeah. And yeah, of course, if you want to see and have a beautiful uh, view, it's amazing over there, but yeah. it's more oh, yeah. than here. Stressful. Uh -huh. I mean, when you come on holiday, that's what you don't want. You don't want stress. You just want to relax. I'd say, nice beach, nice scenery. You don't want to tell people no. I was thinking of getting a, a t-shirt printed with no gracias, amigo, on it. Because, I'd say, it's just like, you know, I'm up to 30 now, just over an hour. 30 people coming around, hassling you. And all you want to do is sip a beer, have something nice to eat, nice conversation. And all I'm saying is no gracias, no gracias, buen dias, buen dias. You know, it's too much, too much. Uh, no gracias, buen dias, buen dias, buen dias. Okay. No, no, no gracias. <laughs> all the time. No gracias, no gracias, no gracias. Yeah. I was going to tell Valentina, you know, I should say that I'm deaf or something. I don't understand, but <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, when they see me, the gringo, they're just like, they're like bees around honey. But, you know, with you, they, they leave you alone, don't they? So. Yeah, for example, yesterday I leave you alone because I have to go to the apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I walk in this area, in the beach, yeah. and no one comes to me to sell me something. Yeah. But when I'm with you, everyone runs, but it's to you, not to me. Yeah, yeah. It's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> I'm to blame, it's me. But, yeah, it's just, like I say, could I live here? No. Could I live, live here if there's no sellers? Then yes, I probably could. But yeah, it's a shame, but that's life. You know, I say it's a tourist attraction, but these guys, they do want their piece of meat, I tell ya. Blanco meat, La Flama Blanca. Boys over there, intense selling. Cheers. Yeah, I can get a tattoo. Tattoo of Escobar. Do you want a tattoo of Escobar? Yeah, it's my ass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? I think that the top face looks amazing with my ass. There you go. There was one guy the other night and he said to me, Amigo, I can get you anything you want, anything. And I was like, okay, give me 50 keys of Escobar's finest. He's like, no problem. No gracias, no gracias. Buenos dias. Yeah, 50 keys of Escobar's finest is like no problem, amigo. But Valentina wouldn't let me. <laughs> no.
time to cool down again, I think. Like I say, I got my Factor 50 arm, but... Yeah. Proper, proper hot. Big bird. Yeah, lovely beach. Lovely setting. But intense. So the dude over there, he's got a boat. You know, he's gonna come over in a minute. Makes me laugh, he's got the goggles on. He just went right to Valentina's butt. And he was like, <laughs> look under the sea. Yeah, I respect that kid. <laughs> That's hilarious. There's another one. Amigo. Yeah, little perverts. Here we go, we've got mariachis in this weather. Them boys must be hot. Gotta be hot in this weather. So hot just looking at them. 